nyuma y'iminsi itanu ubusiye bwinjiye muri Ukraine ingabo z'uburusiya zirasana n'iza Ukraine abarusiye barwanira kwinjira mu mujyi wa Kiev ningabo za Ukraine zizibira zibabuza ko bawinjiramo president wa Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky yemeye ibiganiro n'uburusiya mu rwego rwo kureba ko intambara abarusiya babagabye ho yahagarara ibi biganiro bikaba bigiye kubera kumpa kuhuza Belarus na Ukraine uhagarariye uburusiya muri ibyo biganiro aravuga ngo buri sana buri munota by'intambara hari ibintu byinshi biri kwangirika abantu benshi bagakomereka abandi bakaburira ubuzima bikaba ari ngombwa ko tugomba kugira icyo twumvikana aho kirikare kandi inyungu za buri ruhande zikitabwaho muri uko kumvikana nao president wa Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky ati sinizeye neze iri buve muri ubu bwumvikane atari ko rika tugerageze turebe kugira ngo atazagira umuturage w'igihugu nyoboye uzavuga ko ntagerageje gukora ibishoboka kugira ngo intambara ihagarare amahirwe masa kubiganira to my bizoslov zainteresovano v tom shtoby выйти на какие-то договоренности как можно быстрее. Эти договоренности должны, безусловно, быть в интересах обеих сторон. Скажи, Ведверто, я, как всегда, я не очень верю в результат. Я буду сказать франкли, как всегда. Я не очень верю в результат этого встречи, но давайте их попробуем. So that no citizen of Ukraine would have any doubt that I, as president, did not try to stop the war when there was a small chance. Коли був нехай і маленький, але все ж таки шанс. And as talks get underway, there has been a battle for control in Ukraine's second largest city. Kharkiv has seen heavy street fighting and exchanges of rocket fire. It's around 500 kilometers east of Kiev. Maxar has released satellite images of Russian convoys and tanks moving towards Kiev. The images suggest a large deployment of Russian ground forces moving in the direction of the Ukrainian capital. The convoy is pictured northeast of the Ukrainian city of Ivankiv, with fuel, logistics and armored vehicles, including tanks, infantry fighting vehicles and self-propelled artillery. But the Russian advance on Kiev has been slowed by logistical failures and fierce Ukrainian resistance. Kharkiv and Kiev still remain under Ukraine's control. In the city of Bucha, the mayor, as the mayor there has filmed a video of damage. The Russian defense ministry says its forces have taken control of the Ukrainian cities of Berdyansk and Enyodar, and Russian troops have also taken over the area, they say, around Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. The Russian army claims people can leave freely from Kiev and claims Ukraine is using civilians as human shields. Well, earlier we spoke to a former member of the Ukrainian parliament, Svetlana Zalishuk. She's in Kiev. Ukraine always insisted on diplomacy, but we defy diplomacy as a dialogue and not surrender. And uh, as a Ukrainian who speaks both Ukrainian and Russian, and as a Ukrainian whose grandparents are uh, Russian ancestors, so my grandparents are from Russia, I want to tell you that I feel a Ukrainian citizen and it is ugly for me even the suggestion that a perspective or a chance for peace should be taken from a Russian perspective that when Putin demands that Zelensky should go. Uh, this is just unacceptable. I want to assure you that it's up to Ukrainian population to choose our own uh, presidents. Ukraine cannot and will not concede with its territorial uh, integrity, with its sovereignty. Putin somehow thought that he, he'll, he will be welcomed here or maybe he would have a victorious war in a couple of days, but it turned out for him to be a real humiliation and uh, international isolation and loss of authority. Uh, they report that Putin already has lost thousands of his soldiers here, more than in any other conflict that Putin started since 1991. And they afraid to report this data uh, to the Russian population. Moreover, Ukraine created like several sites uh, where we publish uh, the data about people that killed on our land or wounded or who surrendered so that their mothers, their parents uh, have access to that information and would be able to get uh, in touch with the Ukrainian government so we can either bring them back or send them back their bodies to be buried. Uh, but 
what we see that Russians just blocked all that communication. This is so inhuman to deny their own mothers to have a chance to bury their sons.